the second part of the demonstration, which is about preparing and running the consolidation. For this, we also have a process flow uh, for consolidation tasks that guides the business user through the consolidation process, as well as the delivery of financial statements. The first tasks include verifying the different consolidation parameters. The work status report gives an overview of the reporting status for each of, each of the entities. All entities should be approved without errors before running the consolidation. In the rates report, you, the consolidation manager can enter or verify the different exchange rates that should be applied during conversion. And finally, we also have a report for uh, managing parameter information that is stored in the ownership application. The intercompany reconciliations are handled within a dedicated application in the starter kit. This application uh, contains pre-configured items for exchanging data with the consolidation application and running an intercompany matching process. After this, you can, a number of reports will allow the user to retrieve and check the consistency of the intercompany data. Eventual manual journal entries are posted using the pre-configured templates that are configured in the starter kit. Next, running the, the legal consolidation package will trigger both conversion as well as automatic adjustments. The automatic consolidation rules configured in the starter kit include elimination of intercompany reciprocal operations, elimination of internal dividends, goodwill booking on the basis of a manual declaration, elimination of investment in subsidiaries, calculation of the currency translation adjustments, and calculation of non-controlling interests. Finally, uh, the starter kit also contains a comprehensive set of retrieval reports, including financial statements and various accounting and control reports. The control reports help reviewing and validating the consolidated data. Here, for instance, I would like to show you uh, the data consistency dashboard. This report uh, gives an overview of the consolidation process after the automatic entries have been have been processed. Like for local data, it checks the main balances, but on a consolidated level. For instance, that flows are balanced, that there's flow consistency between assets and liabilities, that the net income is equal on the profit and loss and the balance sheet, and that the net cash variation equals total cash movement. Other control reports check, for instance, the intangibility of uh, the opening balance against the closing balance of the previous year. Oh, um, and we also have uh, control reports for conversion rates. Finally, the starter kit for IFRS contains a complete set of financial statements that follow the requirements of the new IS-1 as it was revised in 2009. These, these document these reports include the statement of financial positions, income statements, statement of sorry, statement of comprehensive income, statement of cash flows, and the statement of changes in equity. You can start by uh, by viewing, for instance, the statement of financial position. So the statement of financial position is retrieved in the required current, non-current split as according to the IS-1. It's a classic starter kit report that leverages the built-in reporting functionalities of planning and consolidation, as well as the advantage of working in Microsoft Excel. On the left, you'll see that we've configured an additional menu pane with a number of different view options. Here, the user can define, for instance, uh, whether or not to format the account hierarchy using the style property, uh, the level of detail that he or she wishes to display in the account hierarchy, and various view options like using indentation and showing or hiding the keys. 
These options reduce the need for replicating reports and give the business user, uh, the standard business user, user access to dynamic reports without having to open up into the document configuration. Next, we can try and have a look at the income statement. So the income statement is classified by function, which is likewise uh, as required by the IS1. Uh, you'll see here that we have the same view and formatting options as in the first uh, statement. Moreover, I'd like to use this uh, statement as uh, a starting point to illustrate the audit trail that we've configured in the starter kit and that helps users understand and analyze consolidated data. As you may have noticed also in the statement of financial position, each report contains a link pane uh, with links to related reports in the top left corner. When double-clicking, uh, you will access directly to the report that you wish. And if the box Apply Between Reports, that's where the mouse is situated now, is ticked, uh, the level of detail chosen will be taken into account when you expand the report that you're accessing. So for instance, we can try and open up the income statement by entity via the link pane. So I double click. And as you can see, the report opens up with exactly the same level of detail in the account hierarchy as the source report, but I now have in column the detailed contribution for each entity. Uh, moreover, um, in the top of the link pane, you will see uh, the name of one of the accounts and entities in the report. Uh, link reports that have red color coding are reports where mono members are relevant. This means that when linking to these reports, the account shown here is the one that will be used in the expansion. So let's say that I want to have a look at the revenues for the S001 United Kingdom subsidiary. What I do is I place the cursor on the account entity crossing that I want to focus on, and then click on the set button that is situated in the link pane. The account and entity uh, in question that I wanted to, to focus on are the ones displayed in the link pane, and I can then click on the report link. In this report, I now have the detailed breakdown for the subsidiary S001 United Kingdom that I chose and for the account that I've chose. I have the breakdown against other partners as well as the detail by audit ID. I might want to uh, specify that audit ID is the term that we use in the starter kit for, for data source. As we can see here, uh, the subsidiary S001 has declared sales for a little less than 600,000 euros with the holding company S000, and that this amount has been eliminated by the automatic intercompany adjustments. To finish with the financial statements, I would also like to show you something from the statement of cash flows. The statement of cash flows uh, is constructed according to the IS7 with a division into operating, investing, and financing activities. In the bottom, you have a control to assure that the cash flow movements are fully explain, fully explain the difference between the beginning and the end of the period. In the starter kit, uh, the cash flow accounts are calculated automatically using starter kit specific stored procedure. This is also the case for the statement of changes in equity, as well as the statement of comprehensive income. In addition, the starter kit offers dedicated function for leveraging the drill through capabilities of planning and consolidation in order to understand how each cash flow, was, cash flow account was calculated. So let's, for instance, drill through to the details for the cash flow account purchase of property, plant, and equipment. To do this, you just right-click on the account, and you'll choose the Native Planning and Consolidation Drill Through menu. The result of the query should return in Excel, and a new tab will show the result. 
To format and sort the breakdown information, you can simply click on the right on the column with the dimension according to which you wish to sort the data and choose the starter kit specific drill through formatting. We can then organize the data. And you'll now have the complete list of the account flow pairs that generated the cash flow account, as well as details on entity, audit ID, etc. And here we find the children that we drilled down from.